As a teenager in the 1970s, Greg Glassman was a gymnast looking to get stronger. He started lifting weights, but then he had a desire to do some cardio, and so he started biking with his friends. It was at this point where he realized that although he could find physically fit people better than him in one area, most people weren't nearly as well-rounded. So he started asking himself, why does one have to choose between intense cardio and heavy weight training? This jack-of-all-trades, master of none mentality was the driving force behind Glassman and CrossFit. Glassman started picking up clients as a personal trainer, and in 1995, he opened his first gym in Santa Cruz, California, where he would actually train the Santa Cruz Police Department. He began getting overbooked with clients, and instead of denying them, he reduced the price and decided to bring them all on and let them work out together. The clients loved this group workout, started making friends, and so Glassman stuck with it. And as the classes grew in size, the passionate community began to grow as well. But it wasn't until the year 2000 when Glassman officially started CrossFit with his wife, Lauren. In 2005, they grew CrossFit to 15 gyms across the country and really started to grow with the affiliate program where other gyms around the country can use the CrossFit brand if they pay an annual fee. And all instructors of CrossFit or holders of the affiliated gyms have to go through some intense training. And in 2007, Glassman started the CrossFit Games where athletes would compete for a grand prize of $500. The grand prize today in 2018 is $300,000 with a purse of over $2.2 million. Today, CrossFit is a $4 billion brand spread across the entire world with over 10 million members in which over 60% of the members are female. And that's how CrossFit got started. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at Austin Daniel Petri.